This week, Elon Musk opts out of a Twitter leadership role, SGX hits a two-year high on market statistics, and ICE is ramping up sustainability efforts. This is Alex Perry with John Lopian News, and this is your recap of options and market news from the week. Here are some of the week's top stories. The Financial and Energy Exchange Group, or FBX Global, announced that it is suspending all future and options trading pertaining to the ESPO Asian Crude, or Argus, benchmark. The Australia-based exchange reported that the suspension is indefinite and that it is, quote, deeply concerned about the invasion of Ukraine and believes that this action is in line with both legal and other sanctions that have been imposed on Russia and Belarus, as well as the intent of those sanctions. Singapore Exchange, or SGX Group, released its March 2022 market statistics. The exchange reported that the derivatives daily average volume, or DAV, increased to 1.2 million contracts, which is the highest volume in two years. Total traded volume increased 42% month on month to 26.3 million contracts. Last week, Twitter announced that Tesla CEO Elon Musk would join the social media company's board of directors after buying more than 9% of the company. However, this week it was reported that Musk decided not to join the board. Twitter's stock dropped 7% the morning it was announced, and Musk said that Twitter should focus instead on solving San Francisco's homeless problem by turning its San Francisco-based office into a homeless shelter since most employees work remotely. Amazon founder Jeff Bezos took notice of the idea and announced that Amazon had turned part of its headquarters into a homeless shelter, which will provide resources for 200 people. CME Group announced a change to its leadership structure, appointing a number of people to new roles within the exchange. CME said that this is in an effort to boost global expansion and to, quote, support its growing international business in Europe, Middle East and Africa, and Asia Pacific. William Nottenbelt, Senior Managing Director and Head of International, is set to retire at the end of the year. The Intercontinental Exchange is ramping up its sustainability efforts. The exchange announced that it now offers data coverage for environmental, social, and governance, or ESG, for over 1.5 million mortgage-backed securities, with the exchange saying it has increased its total fixed income coverage to over 3 million instruments. ICE has also partnered with McLaren Racing to focus on sustainability and diversity. The exchange will sponsor McLaren's Extreme E-Team, a new series that features, quote, all electric off-road competition with male and female drivers behind the wheel. That's all for now, but be sure to tune into this week's edition of John's Take. Also, be sure to check out our options term of the week presented by Euronext. Fast Approaching is the 40th Annual Options Industry Conference to be held on May 10th through the 12th in San Antonio, Texas. This has been Alex Perry for JLN. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.